Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We created this video specifically because many patients were wondering why there are two different options that we offer and why the different prices between the two. Well, in brief, if you're doing surgery for fertility reasons, you really should choose the standard option. Whereas if you're doing it for any other reason, such as pain or other symptoms, uh, the vasovasostomy option is probably appropriate. Now getting into more details though, there are several different reasons why the standard option is the most appropriate for fertility. First of all, and probably most importantly, that option includes the ability to perform a vasovasostomy or an epididymal vasostomy, which is what we call a complex repair. Now the tough thing about that is we don't know until we get into surgery whether or not you're gonna need a complex repair. Although the time since vasectomy is linked to a greater likelihood of needing the more complex epididymal vasostomy, it's not a very strong predictor. Uh, just as one example, I've personally done a case on someone 46 years out from their vasectomy who ended up needing a vasovasostomy on both sides. And I've done another case on someone who was only six months out who ended up needing complexes on both sides. So you just don't know until you get in there. Now along those lines, if someone does need a complex repair, but you only do a simple repair on that side, it'll most likely be a failure from the outset. Overall, our current numbers indicate that we perform a standard repair on both sides in about 70% of cases, a complex repair on one side in 21%, and a complex on both sides in 9%. And what that means is that if you pick the vasovasostomy only option, but are desiring fertility, in 9% of cases, it'll be a failure out of the gate. And in 21% of cases, the success rate will be decreased since one side will be an automatic failure. So you might ask, well, why do you even include the vasovasostomy option? Well, one reason is that some couples will just never be able to afford the standard option. And we wanted to give people every option possible, and we've done our absolute best to get the cost down to an affordable level without compromising on quality. Now yet in other cases, some men don't care if it's successful from a fertility standpoint, but they're trying to improve post vasectomy testicular pain or other reasons. And yet another reason is to help educate people on some of the other things that they're seeing on the internet. There are a few surgeons or groups who advertise doing vasectomy reversals for very low rates, uh, such as in the $1,900 to $2,500 range, and some of them are even doing a very large number of surgeries. However, many of these rarely mention that they're only doing vasovasostomies, and often many of these surgeons haven't ever been trained in male fertility procedures or trained how to do the more complex epididymal vasostomy procedure. By having the different options of standard versus vasovasostomy only, this helps to highlight the important differences between the two so that people can make a more informed decision overall. Now, this leads to the next question, which is, why is the standard repair more expensive than the vasovasostomy only option? Well, there are several things which go into the increased cost. The first, and probably most important, is that we need to block a longer amount of time with the standard option. And that's in case we need to do the more complex type of repair. When you do a vasovasostomy on both sides, it can be done in a shorter time period, and the time required is very, very consistent. But with the more complex epididymal vasostomies, they can take a longer amount of time, and sometimes they can even take over five hours in extreme cases. So with a standard repair, we make sure that we block sufficient time to perform whatever is needed to give the best outcome possible. Now, other reasons for the increased cost include a need for the more expensive sutures with the complex repair, offering revision surgeries for lower cost, providing male and semen testing options, multiple additional years of specialized training, and so on. I hope that this helps to better explain the differences between the two options. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out at any time by emailing us at email at mfp.clinic. Thank you very much.